unarmed shooting massacre, there has been an increased push for new gun control laws. California Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein is leading the charge. We shouldn't stop there. We should restore the ban on military-style assault weapons and a 10-round limit for magazines. gun buyback program that started last month in Bridgeport has now taken hundreds of guns Police off the street. Police reporters were taken aback by the firepower on display. More than 1,100 handguns called from the streets of Camden City and Camden County. We collected uh, 384 weapons. Some of them assault rifles, some of them uh, old broken down guns. But be rest assured that each gun was operational. They were operable and they could have been used to shoot and kill anyone. So we have 384 reasons to be happy that we could have been saving lives by saving people. An SUV full of firearms, one of many, as hundreds of residents turn in unwanted weapons for free gift cards. It's been over 20 years since Seattle last tried a gun buyback program when about 1,200 firearms were relinquished. In response to the recent gun violence tragedy in Connecticut and frequently occurring gun-related crime in the Seattle area, including the U District,
currently being used as prisons, such as those you saw earlier, or prisons that are being built supposedly in the name of the war on drugs, or facilities that have other uses but which could be quickly used to detain large numbers of people, such as this Amtrak facility in Beech Grove, Indiana. miles away from Newtown, Connecticut, gun owners rush to buy more guns. Some Americans can't buy guns fast enough. This is Manchester, New Hampshire today, a line around the block at a gun show. As ABC News first reported, a record 2.7 million background checks in December, nearly a million more than a year ago. With a flick of Governor Andrew Cuomo's wrist and a splash of ink from his pen, New York tightened its state gun laws, already considered the toughest in the country. The legislation was signed into law on Tuesday, but not before several hours of passionate Ultimately, the State Assembly approved the legislation 104 votes to 43. I am proud to be a New Yorker today. I am proud to be part of this government. Uh, not just because New York has the first bill, but because New York has the best bill. One, one issue that always boggles my mind is that the idea that a gun is a defensive weapon. That is a myth. A gun is not a defensive weapon. A gun is an offensive weapon used to intimidate and used to show power. Police officers do not carry a gun as a defensive weapon to defend themselves or their other officers. They carry a gun to be able to, to do their uh, job in a safe and effective manner and, and face any oppositions that we may come upon.